Good morning, hello again. So we're doing something a bit different today. We're at Toff Newton Reservoir, Market Region, in England, for all the law fishermen around the world. And we're doing a bit of two men in a boat today. We're after some perch. I mean, ideally, off does some perch would be lovely, but we're really after them big perch, aren't we? So I've come with a really good friend of mine today. I'm just gonna pan the camera around to you to, to show you who he is. And we've got uh, Carl Wilson. How are you doing, Carl, today? Morning, Kev. Hi, folks. I'm Carl. <laughs> We're going to be catching some perch today, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to brave the elements today, Kevin. Hopefully catch a few perch and maybe get a few surprise other predators, you never know. Yeah, Carl, uh, I'll put a couple of photos in. Carl's a pike up to £26, perch up to £4. So he's my guide today, expert law fisherman. We'll see. <laughs> so we're back. I mean, Toff Newton's a lovely place. It's a, a bowl type reservoir. It's full of trout and perch. And there's been plenty of coming out to... Uh, in the autumn month so it's november so it's a real mild day today 12 13 degrees overcast so it's a gentle north easterly but it's quite a mild breeze so hoping to get some fish so enough of my waffling we're gonna get some fishing done speak to you in a bit it's there again what we've got i'm just testing my little got a little jig rig on testing out the side of the boat and there was a track come up for it already He almost took it as well. It's a nice warm wind though, isn't it? A beautiful wind on for November, it's gorgeous. Neg rig to start with. Almost caught that trout. Let's hope you're going to catch some big perch. I hope you've seen that on film then. A trout followed it up and didn't quite take it. So close. That's three nearly takes of it so far. I wonder if the trout are in the upper layers. It's warmer, isn't it? It's a warm wind. <laughs> I don't mind catching trout, especially when the, the big, that one is at least three pound. Fish. Beautiful start. Second cast in, third cast? Yeah, just nice to lip up. Got another hook in there in his mouth, isn't it? Yeah, it's got somebody else's gear in as well. Take that out and fly. Lovely. What, what a beautiful fish. fish. Nice start for the day. What about two pound? Pound and a half, two pound. Lovely. Popping back. Lovely. Just have a quick look at this rig. Back out. 
quite a simple rig. Uh, 10 gram drop shot, which is easily adjustable up and down the line. So I'll keep the fish off the bottom. Nice little size six drop shot up and eight and a half centimeter rubber worm. Like the red one. I've got all the colours as well that the seems like red at the moment. So we'll pop it back out and see if we can get another one. Was it? Small one. Sw swapping to my little Ricky Roach. I've got every faith this is going to produce a big perch. We shall see. Fingers crossed, Kev. Yeah, we've moved spots. Let's hope this is the this is the spot where the, the big percher showed up. It's got that red bit on the back. I'm hoping that's gonna produce a nice big perch. I don't mind, I'll take a big trout. Or you know, ten pound pike, it's fine. Beauty. Another lovely Toff Newton trout. Absolutely gorgeous. Fantastic. Popping back. Looks like drop shot is the way today, Cole. It seems to be, Kev. Well, what's that rig called? This is just a nice little drop shot rig. Um, size six hook. Nice little red worm. Eight and a half centimetres, just hooked through the middle. Um, gives a nice bouncing action as it goes through the water, and it seems to be yeah, it seems to be working. So I think I'm going to stick on this method for now until uh, we get bored with it. I've got a trout as well. Another trout. These trout like these lures today. There's a little one. Let's just pan around and see how cold catch is. Any size? Oh, nice one. It's not bad. It's, it's marked, I think that's been pike attacked. Is it? There's some big pike in here. I think there is. Have a 
Must be some big parking off Toff that's Newton. Not, uh, that's not a little fish that's had over him. No. Mark the pole down his side. Yeah, that's a huge fish that's grabbed that. Wow. Let's hope we have a fight kid interested in this. Oh, <laughs> me with little Lewis. My <laughs> well, Ricky Roach did the trick. The first oh, trap. You're pleased with that, aren't you? <laughs> I, I was looking at some of these lures and I thought, yeah, that looks looks fishy, that lure does. I've got one with gold fleck in it. How many do you buy? I've got all sorts, but yeah, this has got a bit of gold in it. This one has. It's more ruddy than roach. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Perch. Ooh. Hope we've got that on camera. Is that fish jump out over there? Huge fish. Might be warming up a few degrees. Okay. Possibly. My hands aren't quite so cold. <laughs> I think, what, for middle of November, I don't think we can get better weather than this. Quite Still got the Ricky Roach on. So it's 11 o'clock now, we've had four trout, no perch yet, so we've moved positions a couple of times. I'm still on the Ricky Roach and Carl's still drop shotted with his worm. Are you still got the red worm on Carl? Yeah, I've still got it on, I'm still catching so um, I'll stick with it until we get bored with that. Thump then. I'm fishing a bunch of worms. I'm literally jigging it up and down a foot off the bottom. On the drop shot. Yeah, on the drop shot with a yeah, um, blood tease. So I'm we'll like a bit of a creature worm. Another nice little trout, perfect condition. Absolutely beautiful. It's popping back.
Nice big trout. Oh, yeah, Rhys. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, I've lost last two or three fish I've had on them. Come on. The moment them drop shotted. That felt quite small, that fish. That could have been 30. Oh, yes. So just change that lure. This one stays on. I lost the last two or three. Feels trouty. Or is it a big perch? Oh, it's a nice fish as well. A big one. Thank you. Changing the law, it's trained to a drop shot and I got off the fish. Drop shot does seem to be the method today. It certainly is. Oh, what a beautiful trout. Pretty really gorgeous creatures. Not the perch we came for, but absolutely stunning fish. Could be possibly disappointed with these. <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. Then pop back. Full catch and release today. We caught the last trout, California crawl. You can drop shot six inches off the bottom, so fishing, fishing ever closer to the bottom. And I've had one take that I lost the previous cast. And then I caught one on the next cast. Let's try again. So I think that had three or four goes at it on that. Yeah, you can feel them, hit it once and yeah. just stop. Yeah. And let them let it develop almost. Two or three goes at it before it actually took it. So the previous cast was similar but the fish came off. Or anything. No. Seems to be quiet now. Just change to a shad to see if we can uh, get a little bit more Oh, yeah, we're in. Oh, excellent. That's a little crayfish again. Oh, it's like a nice fish. It doesn't feel very uh, perchy though, unless it's a really big perch. Yeah, it's a nice perch. Big perch. Oh, it's a good trout. Look at that one. It's a decent sized fish, this one. Look at that one. Might be my biggest ever trout, that. We don't know where to fight. That could be a PB trout, that one. Beauty. PB, PB. Yeah. Caught that one, that. It's got a mini crayfish creatures, creature rig. Good to be a rest. Seems very lively. 
This is a good fish as well. Look at that one. Have a look. Let's have a proper look at you. Look at that absolute beautiful fish. Three pound. Absolute stunner. Huge tail. No wonder the fight's so hard. Very big predatory mouth as well. Look at the other side of it. Look at that. Absolutely stunning fish. It's going to put back. Catch and release today. So that was caught on this uh, little creature rig. It's very slow retrieved, just, just tripping it on the bottom with it on a drop shot rig, so Let's see if we can have another go at that. Yes, that wind's getting a bit fresh now, Carl. Just very slowly twitching it. Yeah. Good take that one was. Ooh, I thought I did a little touch then. A little tweak. A little tweak then. Is he going to come back for it? Oh, amazing. I think we've had seven trout now, aren't we, Cole? Seven trout and no perch? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Eight trout. Yeah, I've got three. So the last two have actually come quite close to the boat as well. Yeah, I've had a lot of I know we're trying to fish for perch, but we're having great fun with these trout. And uh, to get a PB as well. Great action on these little creature hills, aren't they? Yeah, the little crayfish one's lovely, is it? Just works its way along the bottom. Oh, yeah, go on. Had a little take then. It's just tweaking again. Oh, yeah, thinking about it, go on. There's two touches it's had. It's very slow retrieve, just tripping it on the bottom. With a touch. Yeah. Missed it. Yeah, keep, keep a mm. That one had two good pulls at it, but it probably just didn't quite get the, the lure in its mouth properly. But definitely drop shot into the way forward today. It seems to, it? Yeah. Well, six of the trout have come to drop shotting, haven't they? Yep. Only one has come to the jig rig. Green pumpkin bugs. That's bound to produce a fish. How could they possibly resist that? That four pound perch is just waiting for his car on this green pumpkin bugs. It 
Yeah, that's what I had that uh, my second fish on one of them. The Californian crow. Better to try and worm next time. My next change. Bunch of worms. The perch aren't really hunting for food, they might take a worm. We'll see. Then. Wow, that on that plug? Yeah. Beautiful. Fighting on. Fish and an off. Another nice strike, Cole. Another Another nice beauty. Nice they really do fight well, these. Yeah. Let's pop him back. All right, so we're just swapping over to three worms on the drop shot rig. Everybody's catching today though. Yeah, Everybody's a really good day. all really the good. boats all the boats are catching. Oh my word. You had a take. I'm not sure what that yeah. It's the first time we've been to Toff Newton, but what a lovely place to fish. Absolutely heaving with fish. You in again? Yeah. Bit big one. In the bag. The plugs come out in the net as well, look, that one. That's looking to it. Yeah, just got it in in time. Look at the colours on that. Beauty, isn't it? Look at that, lovely. What a gorgeous fish. Yeah. Fantastic. I'm still fishing here. Got three worms on. 
my drop rig. A bit cool when that sun goes in. It is. I'll have to change my hat. You may have noticed I've got a different hat on today. Kind of nipped by Carl's uh, better off, Gina. Although I think it took her a few days to knit it, so they're not available to order if anybody wanted one. <laughs> you have to knit your own. By special request. Hmm. There's a perch he's got there, look, Carl. I don't know if you can quite see that. It's going to pan round. Chapped in that boat there. He's just holding up a nice big perch. It must be over two pounds. Look at it. It's a really big fish. So that's what we've come for. We've not had one yet. Here's hoping, though. Hoping my worm, my triple worm, caught with the goods. Maybe the perch are coming on feed. I've just seen that uh, that boat uh, getting a really nice fish. Yeah, it's a very lightweight rod, isn't it? It's a beauty, yeah. Wind's getting stronger now, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit now. Maybe that's what it needs to bring the perch on feed. Bit of changing wind. Nothing on the bright right now. Now for a change. I'm going to try another Ricky Roach, but this time it's got a, a red face. The tackle today, we're using quite soft rods, quite a light gear. I've only got six pound mainline on, on mono, and I've got a 13 pound fluorocarbon leader. So, it makes it good sport with these trout and perch. What are you using, Carl? You've got soft rods as well, haven't you? Yeah, I've got... You've got braid on your eels. Yeah, I'm using um, eight and uh, 10 pound braid. That rod's a little two to ten gram, little light, very light um, blue rod. This one's a little bit heavier, five to twenty-eight gram drop shot rod, rod, just for a bit of distance and uh, just so I can use a little bit heavier weight. Casting, still have sensitive. We've plenty of trout today. Still waiting for our first perch though.
<laughs> Don't get close to him. <laughs> We're spinning on the anchor. We're spinning on the anchor already. Yeah. Well, we need a couple of fish, fish to finish off now, Carl. Back on the little creature, creature bait. It does seem to be uh, the more successful method. I think you can make sure you present the bait where you want it, just off the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, definitely drop shot has caught a lot more fish today. Although if he was targeting the trout, surface, uh, surface lures, divers, you see that fish has swilled here, look. He just came up close to the boat. Didn't break, totally break the surface. Wind's getting up now though, it's very choppy now. Yeah, I think Coffee. And head, and head back, shall we? Yep. All right, the winds are getting up now. I think we're, we're going to be calling it a day. Uh, one or two more last casts if we can get another fee. But it's my first time at Toff Newton. Big thanks to Carl for inviting me for the day. It's been absolutely brilliant. Didn't get any perch, but we've got some really big trout. Absolutely excellent. A PB trout on a day like today, absolutely fantastic. Really enjoyed it. So we'll definitely be back again. And look forward to perhaps the perch feeding next time. But thank you very much for watching. Please remember to click the like and subscribe. We'll finish with a few highlights. Bye for now. Yeah, we're in. Oh, yeah. Uh, we can again. Ooh, it's like a nice fish. Yeah. Look at that, absolutely beautiful fish. Three pounds? Oh, it's gonna. Huge tail, no wonder the fights are lost. 